Hi everybody, it's Monica Partridge here. And I'm gonna be here today to show you the autograph book made from the awesome and amazing A Day at the Park papers. Okay, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna I just came on a little bit early just to allow people a little bit of time to get in and to make sure. Hi Becky. Becky's my fellow Canadian that is freezing. If she's up here in Canada, because there's some nasty weather going on up here. Okay, so everything seems to be working. I'm going to move my keyboard right now. And I'm going to wait a couple of minutes and set my stuff up. Set this up too. I have silenced the entire house. The only one that I cannot silence will be Tyson, my dog. He might show up. If you guys can hear me, let me know. Hi, Wendy. Can you hear me? <laughs> I never know if this thing works. Because you just never know with this thing. Okay. I'm just going to give everybody a couple minutes, Wendy, before I start. I know it's recorded, but can you hear me? Oh, yay. Okay. There's a little bit of a delay. So I am going to wait a couple more minutes here just to see what's going on. Uh, we got another minute. So greetings, everybody. I want to thank Jody from Photoplay Paper for letting me share this project with you guys. Because it's pretty cute. It's pretty easy. And I love these papers. There's nothing like Disney papers. Okay, so I'm going to dive right in. Now, when I had posted originally, I said, get your pen and paper, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each piece that you're going to need. You can write it all down. And then when you want to make this project, you can go back and look at the video again, but you'll have everything done and everything cut out. Okay. So it's pretty simple. This is using the uh, cut apart sheet from this collection. Now there's a few different paper packs for this collection. There's the Solids Plus, which is really awesome. I love it. It's just got all the beautiful, bright colors. I'll actually show it to you. So it's this one here. Okay. Hi, Joanne. So that is the Solids Plus collection. And this is the Color Plate Tiny Prints, which is so adorable. Let's get all the tiny prints. Oh. Oh my gosh, you didn't never have enough of that. Let me just put this back up here before I trash the place. Okay, and then today I'm going to be using this pack. And the reason I'm using this one is because not only does it have the cut apart sheet, okay, included in the pack. Hi, Crystal. I see you. Disney fan. <laughs> oh, can I say that? Yes, she's going to the wonderful place down in Florida. And she's going to love this. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Joanne again. Okay. This collection pack, the paper pack that you get. So this is the color play papers. They're amazing. Um, I'll give you just a glance at the album that I did separately from this. Um, but included in this, you get the 12 by 12 sheets that are all visible here. But you also get the sticker sheet. So you get one sticker sheet which I'm going to find right now because clearly I've hidden it from myself find you the sticker sheet and I've used a lot of the stickers on the sticker sheet I'm still here I'm just trying to find it oh there goes my keyboard okay sticker sheet so here Oh, and I have one that I haven't used yet. So these are all the elements I've used so far, and I'm not even done using it. Hello, Danielle Faza from Brazil. Amazing. Hi, Rhonda. Woohoo! Good for you, Rhonda. That's amazing. 
I know there's oh this paper is awesome it's amazing so this is what you're gonna get in the paper pack okay this specific paper pack you're gonna get the elements the sticker sheet okay and it's really awesome I love all of the cute adorable little stickers and you will see what you can do with these stickers with this autograph book hi Debbie okay I've used a lot in my little album and I'm not done yet I'm gonna end up using them all thank god I bought two yay okay so I hope you guys got your pen and paper because I want you guys to write this down so this is what you're gonna need okay you're going to need a sheet of cardstock now when I refer to the cardstocks I'm gonna be referring to different weights so this is an 80 pound weight cardstock so this is thicker um, it's a good quality cardstock you can use the photo play color play papers they're actually really good so uh, it's it's up to you basically but what I've done for this specific autograph album is I've used one 12 by 12 sheet okay of the 80 pound card stock I used one red sheet of the 80 pound card stock okay and I'm gonna set that aside and I used um, this is 60 pound weight cardstock, okay, and I use five sheets and I just want to show you guys why because when you go and you're actually going to use this you're going to use it for yourself if it was me and um, you're going to use it for yourself or your kids and you're going to want to write on this and if you use just plain white paper the marker is going to bleed through or the pen is you're going to see through it so i've used a 60 pound weight and you guys can get this anywhere we can get it at michael's up here in canada because that's where i'm at and i lost my chat here in case there's any questions um this comes in a 60 pound weight so there's different kinds i know joanne's carries it um it's a lighter weight so it's not as heavy or as thick as the 80 pound cardstock it's 60 pound weight and a lot of the packages don't tell you what the weight of it is but you'll know when you feel it it's a lot lighter hello Lucy hi Ray hi Debbie the other Debbie <laughs> okay so this is lighter um, again you can get it at uh, Hobby Lobby down there actually I'm pretty sure that I bought this at Hobby Lobby across the border because I'm not far from the border so um, this is the 60 pound weight and, and I used five sheets okay so that's what you're going to need for this plus with the paper collection i used one of the cut aparts which is really cool okay there's a lot of them um but this is the one i use for the autograph book how convenient that it's on there right so anyway let's just scroll down a little bit here what i did on mine was i cut the black part off Okay, for the first one, I cut just around here and I cut the black off and then I backed it with the red. So I'm going to give you guys, and this is off the sticker sheet, and this is just a piece of paper that I actually cut from the front cover because I want to save the paper for the rest of the other album. Hi, Donna. Okay, so I'm going to dive right in here. So obviously, you're going to need this from the paper collection, and that's from the cut apart sheet. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through how I want you guys to cut this okay these sheets here all right from these are the 60 pound weight I cut them all down to seven and a quarter by four and a half okay all of these pieces and what I've done is I'm laying them all out for you just right now and then we're gonna go through it it's gonna be easy and you guys will be amazed at how easy it is and you're gonna love it you're gonna make them for everybody when you go down there okay so let me just go down to the bottom uh, Debbie yes I will be doing tomorrow hi Debbie I miss you too Debbie the other Debbie <laughs> I miss both Debbie's just saying uh, I am gonna do another tutorial for the other album I'll show you at the end it's just it's kind of it's a pretty big album and I didn't want to go live on here so I might just do it on YouTube so that I can put measurements up for you guys and post it so it's easier for you guys. So I'll give you a link at the end to my YouTube and then if you wanna make the other album, feel free to do that. Okay, so the first piece you're gonna use 
is these. You're gonna cut all of these down to seven and a quarter by four and a half. Okay, and you're gonna set those aside. Now, the way I did it is, I'm gonna show you. So you have enough. And then you're only using five sheets of paper. So cut it first at the seven and a quarter, and then you're gonna have enough left over here to cut another piece. All right, and then you're going to turn it when you get it in your cutter, and you're going to cut four and a half and four and a half, and obviously you're going to have a strip left over, and then you can use this piece, sorry, I hit the mic, you're going to use this piece for the other seven and a quarter by four and a half, okay? So that's why I want you to do that, and I want you to do the same for your black. Look at Debbie go, she's marking it down for you guys, okay? Then I want you to take the black piece of cardstock and do the same thing because I am a cardstock hoarder just saying okay so waste not one not right you know when you need that one piece of paper you're gonna have it right if you do it that way <laughs> so cut it first on the seven sorry seven and a quarter cut it seven and a quarter and then cut two at four and a half so that's those two pieces and that's gonna be your front and your back cover okay then I want you to cut a piece at three, I wrote it down. It's three by four and a half. I wrote it down, but I lost a piece of paper. I'm remembering now. So let's just measure just to make sure. So that's four and a half by three. Okay. And you're going to use this as a template for cutting your holes. All right. So you can just set that there. Then you're going to take your red piece and you are going to cut from your red piece. This is the mat okay for this so i'm going to do it this way i'm not going to cut the black off because i've already done one with the black cut out of this okay and this piece cut apart is four by six which is amazing because if you're going to use this in envelopes you can use this for your picture just mount your picture right to the back of that got a lot of cut aparts and the red piece for matting it is six and a quarter by four and a quarter so you're going to cut a piece six and a quarter by four and a quarter, and then you're going to cut this piece here. And this piece is, I'm going to make sure, four and a half by an inch and three quarters. Okay. And that's basically what you're cutting apart right now. All right. So I'm going to set these aside right now and the matting and this i'm going to set it aside because i don't need to score those but i'm going to have to get my scoreboard out to show you okay where did i put it oh there it is <laughs> it's right there then i'm going to find my score tool you can use this score tool but me you know we all have our preference just saying so i'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it on the short side. So this is an inch and a quarter by four and a half. And I'm going to score it at three quarters of an inch. And then I'm going to turn it around all the way, 90 degrees. And I'm going to score it again at three quarters of an inch. Sorry, 180 degrees. I'm going to turn it. Losing my mind. Okay. This is going to be your spine. All right. Now what I want you to do, this is your template piece, okay? So this is your four and a half by three inch piece. So what I want you to do is I want you to take this piece, because we're going to punch holes in this, and you're going to use the holes for your template, okay? Then everything's going to be exactly the same, and you don't have to put pencil marks on here. Now, if you don't have the same hole punch, I'm going to be using this hole punch, okay? If you don't have it, you don't need to use this unless you're using these posts that I'm using. So I'm using the actual posts. You can get these at Michael's or at Hobby Lobby, okay? And these are quarter inch um, album posts, okay? And there's a screw on one side and it's plain on the other side, okay? If you don't have that, you can use brads, okay? You just wanna make sure that the brads are going to be thick enough, or sorry, long enough to go all the way through, okay, to hold your album. And if you're going to use brads and you want this to last, because especially if you're going to be taking it to the awesome place, right, 
And if you're going to be using this in the awesome place and you're going to be giving it to yourself or if you're going to be giving it to your kids, you're obviously going to be opening it up, closing it, opening, closing. I would recommend if you're using just the brads, okay, I would recommend putting these eyelets into the paper once you punch it and it's just going to make it sturdy so that as you're opening and closing, it's not going to tear the paper because these edges are pretty sharp, right? Okay, so they're pretty sharp. So if, if you keep opening and closing, opening and closing, it's going to tear it. So you can put some eyelets in there to make it sturdy. Okay, so we are going to take our four and a half by three inch piece and we are going to put a mark and I wrote it down at three eighths of an inch. Sorry use the right end here. So I'm going to score this at three eighths of an inch. Is it three eighths? Let's just make sure. <laughs> I have one here. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so scoring it on the three inch side at three eighths of an inch. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to score it at one inch and three and a half. Okay, let's make sure I'm not missing any comments. Hi, Lori. Hi, Tracy. You're sitting in Timmy's, Lori. Be careful. Ice is coming. Hi, Renee and Candy. Okay, so we have these X marks the spot here and here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my punch. You don't have to use that. You can use a poke tool. We are Memory Keepers Brad setting tool is the actual proper name for it, I'm pretty sure, but I call it Pokey Tool. So does a lot of other people, just saying. 29 names for the same thing. You can just poke holes if you're going to use Brad. But I am setting mine with the post. So what I'm going to do is find the center of those two. And I am just going to X marks the spot there. And I'm going to... Sorry, I'm going to line this up a little better. X marks the spot there. So now I have a template, okay? And I know that all of my pieces are going to be exactly the same, right? Because now what we're going to do... Yes, we did, Ray. We did get a lot of ice. I was out scraping my sidewalk driveway... <sighs> other sidewalk out on the street salting ran out of salt Ugh. and it's coming again apparently i'm actually candy she's watching right now as well she lives not far from me but she's a little farther south and i think she's getting hit a little harder right now than we are okay so we're going to take our template and we're going to use this in this way so we're going to start with our first piece this is the binding okay <clears throat> And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hold it up and I, you can mark circles and punch it if you want. I'm just going to hold it up, pinch these pieces together, find my tool that I just had in my hand and open it back up. And then I'm going to punch the holes exactly the same. Okay. Now again, I'll just show you with a pencil so you know what I mean. So you can hold it down, make sure it's lined up, obviously, and you can mark it with your pencil. Okay, if you're using a brad, obviously you're going to use a smaller hole, so you guys figure it out. So, I'm going to use the pencil for the first one, okay, and I'm just going to line it up, and I'm going to punch it, and then I'm going to stand up again so I can see properly. Reading glasses and all. I have this really cool new room in my basement, but I find that the angle that these lights are on... And my reading glasses, it's just not good. So I'm going to punch the one side, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm not marking it with my pencil. I'm just going to go like this, line it up. Try not to there we go. I'm going to have little dots for Tyson's snack later. Tyson eats paper. Just saying. <laughs> Tyson likes to eat paper. 
Yeah, I know. It's foggy, eh, Lori? It's, it's foggy here, too. But it's, uh... I hope it stops soon. I hope my tree doesn't collapse on the internet cable. That would suck, eh, guys? <laughs> okay, so there's the first one I got punched. I'm going to set that right there. Then what I want you to do is take both of your covers. And you can do them one at a time. I'm doing them both at the same time. Because I can. And it's black on black, but I can still see it, I hope. Stand up, I can. Oh, let's see. I'm going to draw circles. I'm drawing circles. Because it's black on black. I probably could have used a piece of white paper for this. Just saying. Okay. I'm going to do that. And then I can see it a, li oh, a little bit better. Okay. One. And. Oops. Two. There we go. And. You are as well going to. Do all of your white pieces. Now, I did a whole bunch ahead of time because I'm sure the last thing you guys want to do is watch me punch holes. I did them three at a time. It was just easier that way. And I'm going to use my other template because I actually, where did I put it? This is my other template. Yes. So I'm going to use this template because I used the other ones just in case I did it slightly off and they're not the same. I'm going to use this one for these. Then they all match. Sorry if you guys can't see this right now. Okay. There. I just saved you guys watching me punch holes. Isn't that nice of me? Okay. Templates gone. Don't need that now. So I'm going to stack all these up. Okay. So that goes like that, and then you got the one cover, and you got the other cover, back cover, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this. Now, I never burnish and score my stuff until I'm done punching holes, because then I find I have no, nothing is stopping me from sticking it in my tool, right? So I am just going to burnish this. Other one. Make sure I got it straight. Like that. Okay. And then. Like that. Okay. So even if you've gone a little bit off on your holes. Okay. Once you get the posts in. If you're using these posts. Okay. It lines it up. You can do the same with the brads, okay? You can stick a toothpick in there and roll it around and get them all even before you do it, or you can just take your brads. Now, like I was saying, if you're going to use the brads, now is the time to put in your eyelet. Wow, look at that eyelet. That is not a good eyelet right there. It's like a hole in it. Wow. Okay, so you're gonna take the eyelet and put it in there, okay? and put it in, because it's going to stop the brad from cutting the paper, okay? So once you put your brad in, it's going to be a little loose, but you can always glue it down once it's in. I'm going to use my posts. Why? Because I have them, and I like them. So then what you do is you can just take this, wrap it around, stick your posts in there, and these ones screw on. So, I'll just take this and screw it in there. And this is not easy. I think it's time for a nail trim. Just saying. I do have a screwdriver here. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, very old, crusty screwdriver. That is not working too good. Just saying. Okay. Hold on. This was supposed to work really well and easy. Oh, Barbara, you're in New Brunswick. I am in Ontario, but I have family in uh, New Brunswick. I'm from Nova Scotia originally, so. Hi, Barbara. Yes, freezing rain is coming. 
So I need my other post, which I have misplaced. There it is. Okay. And let's put that like that. Now, if you don't line it up like I just did, I guarantee you it's because I used a different, uh, the different thing. So see how my white is sticking out at the bottom? Okay. It's not going to kill anybody. But if that happens to you, you've probably just flipped your template the other way. So just take your thing and turn it the other way. Okay. So take your black paper, flip it over. All right. Ray, I don't score the white pages. I really don't. You can score them if you want, and I'll give you the measurement if you want to score them. But I find if I score them in advance, because there is so much paper in here, um, what it's going to do is the score line is actually not going to match up to where you're folding it. Because as you build up your pages and as you're opening it and opening it and opening it, it's the score line is going to move farther this way. So I don't score them. Right? I just let it lie back flat. And actually, I learned that the hard way because years ago, I made a little autograph book, which my son is in the other room. He's not going to hear me. And I'm going to give it to him next year for his birthday. And I had all the Toronto Maple Leafs sign it. Not all of them, but hockey team. You know, it's a Canada thing. Hockey, hockey. Hi, photo play paper. Hi. Okay, so... I've screwed all of that in there, and voila. And again, I, I can fix this later. I'm not going to do it right now. <coughs> Sorry. Choking. So, I don't score them. But that's the reason I don't score them. Okay. And these have to be tightened a bit more, but I have a really cruddy screwdriver. Okay, that one actually went a little more. Okay. So that is your base, okay, for your autograph book. If you wanted to go and just take this with you and get all the Disney characters to sign it, you could, and then you can embellish it later. But I'm going to show you what I did. So what I did was I took this other piece that I used for matting, and then I took this piece, okay, and this fits on here like this, Okay, and it leaves just enough of an edge. So I'm going to do this now and glue it down. Sticking it down. And if I don't see your questions for a minute, it's because I am trying not to glue my fingers together. Just saying. Come on, you can do it. Okay. Now. See if I can get this without. There, look at that. Wow. And I have a dry wet wipe that I'm going to use. Just like glue the glue on the edges. Now I am using the art glitter glue and it dries clear, so I'm not all that worried about it. And what I like to do is rub along the edges first and then I burnish all that glue that's under there, so I spread it out evenly before it dries. And it dries quick, this stuff. Which is good! Unless you take your time, and then it dries. And then you can't move it around. So, and I bit Now, on this one here, I just put eyelets on the corners of the red. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my crocodile. And I am going to put eyelets... On this piece because I can. Sorry if I. There we go. There we go. Let's get a little cookies. Okay. And I don't know. Black or white. Oh, I gotta go white because I left that edge there. I'm sure I have red somewhere too, but I think the white will look good. There's some white. And I'm just gonna put these around the edge. Because devil's in the details, people. 
It's the little tiny things like this that make a project pop. Uh-oh. Okay, I gotta get some white ones. Hold on. I have a whole box of those things. There's some. That's a good thing. Just saying. There's a white. There's another white. Hopefully with no holes in it. Okay, sorry if that was loud, because I know my mic is pretty good. Hold on. I'm trying to see the comments here. I lost you guys. I lost you. Yes, I did. I lost you. You're gone. Oh, there you are. Okay. What tool did I use to burnish? I use my Scorpel tool. Yes, and it is quarter inch. Thank you, Rhonda. That's the size post I use, just the quarter inch posts and screws. I also have this awesome burnishing tool, but it was hidden under my keyboard and I didn't see it until just now. Just saying, I'm good at that. I'm sure a lot of people out there are just like me and they lose things. Yeah. Yay, Kim made it. And yes, it was. It was the bone folder that came with the... Ugh. I just lost that. Can you believe that? Oh, it's gone forever. Tyson will need that one too. Just saying. I flicked my eyelid across the room. I actually think it landed in the garbage. Which would be okay because that means I won't step on it later, right? It's like Lego, that stuff. Okay. Not fun to step on. Okay. Last one. All right. So, and I'm just going to do that there. Now you can pop this up. You can use some uh, foam tape if you wanted to. Should I do that? No, I'm not going to do it. Because it's going to go into that album. So I am just going to throw this down. And it's going to stick up a little bit at the corners, but that never bothered me. What is all this flaky stuff going on, man? Okay, and there. Now, I find with the color play paper, I like to let it sit for a minute, even though this is usually really fast dry, because of the awesome inks that they use, okay, in the process of printing this paper. It's got that nice sheen to it, like that, it's, it's smooth, okay? And it does glue, but if I move it around, like right now, I could probably push it around still, which is nice if you're slow like me sometimes and you don't want it to glue down too fast, right? But don't push it around too much. Give it a chance to dry. Oh my gosh, look at me. I got glue all over everything. Okay, I'm going to pretend it's one of my kids. I'm going to lick this, which is really gross. Just say it, don't do it. Okay, it came off. <laughs> do not lick the baby wipes like I just did. I am only responsible for my own actions at this point. Okay, if you guys lick it, I didn't, I told you not to. Hi, Connie. Yes, it is in the land of the lost supplies. I just saw that comment. You are right. Okay, now I. You can buy tassels, okay, and I make my own tassels, all right? So this tassel I made. So I'm not going through that process right now, okay? I know you guys want to see me make a tassel, but I do not have my proper cussing filter on today, so the tool that I have, it broke, and... Yeah, it's just one of those little windy tools, but it broke and it pops off my desk and it does all kinds of silly things. So I made this just using this type of floss. Okay. 
And maybe I'll do a tutorial on that one day on how to make tassels. I'll put that on my YouTube. Okay, so I use a tassel and I use two bows. So I can make that now. And here's how I make a bow. You're never too late, Connie. No such thing as late to a party as long as the party's still happening. Okay, so I'm going to make the black one smaller like this. So the black one is smaller than the red one. So I just take my fingers, okay, I leave a little dangly thing down here, and I go like once, okay, and then what I do is I come up, oh, wait a minute, did I do that once? I will do two, what the heck, okay, I'm going to do two, okay, so I've wrapped it around, basically just wrapped it around my fingers, okay, then what I do is I take this and I poke it through here, okay, so it's coming through my fingers like that. All right, and I wrap it all the way around. And then I just tie it off. So I snug everything up. Did I go all the way around? Yes, I did. Okay, and I just tie it. I know it seems a little difficult, and I have lots of bow makers, but this is just fast and easy for me sometimes, sometimes not. Okay, and I just I leave myself enough room so that I can grab this. Oh, look at that. Okay. And then I take it off my fingers. Slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> and look, it's a bow. How convenient. Okay, so there's one bow. I'm going to do the same with this one. Only I'm going to use three wraps around. And I'm going to just spread my fingers out a little farther. I don't even know who needs a bow maker. And I'm going to go around. One two, three times. Okay, uh, I'm going to go through here. Pull it through. Bring it tight. Now, I still got this piece hanging down on the end, right? So, I'm just going to pull it up. Give myself some room. Take that, and then I'm going to pull these kind of tight. Not too tight. Don't cut off circulation in your fingers. You'll never get the bow off your finger. Just saying. Been there, done that. If you're going to do this method, of course, you don't have to. I just find it's really quick and easy and I don't have to pull out any bow makers, okay? Because, you know, and there's bow number two. Alrighty, two bows, one there, one here. All right, and then what I did, I just tied this, made sure it was really tight. Okay, and I fiddle fart it around with that. With that. Spread these out a little bit so it looks a little fluffy. Like that and like that. And this is May Arts ribbon, you guys. So if you know where to get that, that's what that is. Okay. And I am going to now. I'm going to use. Super T crazy glue. You can use whatever glue you want, but you know what? This stuff really works. It works really well. And what I'm going to do before I cut any ends off, I'm going to put these two bows together and I'm going to glue these bows together. Okay. And I'm going to use my score pout. No, I'm not. You know why I'm not going to do that? Because if I drop super glue in there, I'll be jumping the score lines. Thing. Thing. Okay. I'm going to use this because I can. And I'm just going to drop this on to a little tiny little drop. Tip the day. Don't touch the super glue with your fingers because you'll be like, wow, I have super glued myself to the bow. Been there, done that. Okay. And I'm just going to put my handy dandy clothespin on there and let that sit for a while and hope I don't have to rip it off the clothespin. It's all about hope, right, people? Hope is a good thing, right? Tassels are awesome. Okay, and then what I do after that is I basically glue my tassel onto there. Okay? So that's that. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I will show you the sticker sheet. So, okay, this part here is on the sticker sheet. 
all right? And this, I just cut out of a leftover piece of black cardstock. And maybe I'll do red. Yeah, I'll do some red. Hold on, I'll get some red. And I'll just cut it like that. You don't have to do this, but you guys want to see how I did it, then this is how I did it. So I just measured to here. I used my pencil, a little chop here, and I'm just going to use my trimmer. And I'm guessing. Okay, so it's not an exact science, that's for sure. Lost my pencil line. Where's my pencil line? Oh, there it is. So that is as long as I want it. And I'm probably going to go mm, five eighths of an inch. I think five eighths will look good. Like that. Oh, yeah, that'll be fine. There we go. And basically, I just look for approximately the middle. You can mark it with your pencil if you want. Um, so, right about here. And if you put a little dot there, you can always erase it. I don't know if you guys can see that on the right. Yes, you can. Look at that pencil mark. Okay. And then I just go like this. I had a lot of coffee today. I'm like vibrating again. That's what happens when you have too much coffee. Ray knows about coffee. Oh, I used the other piece. Oh, well, I think that's just fine. So it's a little longer, but that's okay. Longer is better because then I can trim it off later. All right. I'm just going to do it now and set that there like that. And then I can get my sticker sheet. And I'm going to use, huh, I'm going to use the ticket and I'm going to back it with this. Oh, no, I can't. I need black. I'm going to use my template and back it with the black. I'm not using the template anymore. I'm all done with that. These stickers are adorable on this sheet, by the way. And I'm just going to use my scissors. You can use your trimmer if you want it to be exact. What? I'm just going to go with that. Okay, and then I straighten it up a little later that. Ooh, I'm going to use this. Just grab that corner. There we go. Just so I don't have to cut it out with my scissors. That, make it look like the ticket corners. There. Huh. Like that. I can use a different hole punch and go in there, but oh, look at that. Okay, and I got my ticket, and I can do that, and I can tuck that under the bow, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, I'm going to trim these now. So I'm going to make the black ones. I'm going to do the red first. Okay, I'm just going to cut it on an angle. The other one I, oh no. Okay, I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to do it like the other one. Folding it in half, and then I'm going to cut it like that. Voila! Oh, you can see it against the white there. Okay, and then I'm going to do my other one. And I don't want to crease it too much, so I'm kind of taking my time. And there's those two. Okay, and then this one I'm going to cut just on an angle. And I want them to be shorter than the red. Like that. There we go. Now this is sliding around. Yours won't. Mine I need to go and search and go on the hunt for my screwdriver that actually works. Okay. <laughs> the quarter inch posts are perfect for the amount of paper that I told you to use. It's just I have not got them screwed in all the way. So and I'm not going to waste your time going to look for a screwdriver. So I'm going to glue this bow onto this corner right here. And I'm using crazy glue. So 
I want to make sure before I set it down that I got my back pieces where I want them. Just in case the glue runs through there. Now you don't have to have it this long if you don't want to. I thought it would look nice. Okay. And I'm just going to let that set there for a second. You can again use your clothespin on this whole thing if it reaches and just kind of hold your bow there. Okay, so it doesn't move around. And then I'm just going to glue this down. I'm going to use my this glue here. Oh, hold on. My glue is not cooperating. And there we go. And I can put that there. That. And then I'm going to just tuck my ticket up in here like that. And again, you can use pop dots or you can use foam tape. And I'm actually going to put it up here. It looks a little better up here. Make sure some white's in there. Okay. And then last but not least, I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue it right into there. Okay. With this wonderful crazy glue. Super T. Uh oh. Guess who came to visit? Hi, Tyson. Hi, Tyson. Yes, Tyson. I know. Okay. I'm just going to let that sit there and I'm not going to touch it. If I want to later on, I'm probably going to go back in and I'll trim this edge a little bit just so it's not hanging out too far. Okay. And I just use, there's a bunch of heart stickers. Okay. I'm going to save my sheet, but you can see that I use them. Actually, I took the ticket off of that one. There's heart stickers on here. There's little bows. So if if mini is your thing, you can use the mini bow. You, there's so many awesome stickers. And that's what I did on here was I used um, Look Who I Met. And that's here. And then I just backed it with the extra cardstock. Okay. And I also matted it again just with red paper. I find if you mat it a couple of times, it just makes it pop that much more, right? So there you go. That is basically how it goes. And if you want, I'm going to, where's my other sticker sheet? I got the used one here. I guarantee you there's another sticker up in this. Okay. How a Main Street USA. There you go. And I'm just going to stick that kind of under there, maybe. More like that. that. Even. Sure, why not? There. It's not too empty. And you can leave room, too, for whoever's name, whoever owns this autograph book, right? So leave yourself a little bit of room. All right. That is that. So this is the one that I made yesterday so I can show you. And the screws are tight so it's not jiggling around. <laughs> I was just saying. And I will fix this one later. Now I'm going to show you guys the album if you want to see it. I guess you guys want to see it before I go. Oh, yes. Do call me, Lori, and then I'll know you made it home safe, buddy. Because <laughs> it's getting a little hectic out there again. Where did I get the square Teflon bone? I got this from bonefolder.com. That's where I got this. And I would suggest, like, I use this bone folder like crazy. Um, there's a pack you can get on the on the website. And it has, like, I, uh, I lose things often, like everybody. Um, there's some, they're really good. Um, they last quite a long time as long as you don't gouge things. So I have a gougy one. And there's little gouges out of it. And then I have the one that I use for the paper. Okay. Um, bonefolder.com is where I got those. Okay. Let's put the lid back on this. 
and this is the art glitter glue but it's winter and i'm pretty sure that the art glitter glue freezes so i don't think anybody's shipping it right now you could probably check your local scrapbooking store and see if they have it and if not they can get it for next year right um I'm going to take, which is the one? So this is the one I just did. I'm going to set it aside so I don't hit it while the glue's drying. It's probably already dry, but I don't want to take a chance. So this is the album that I made. Okay. And the autograph book goes inside of this album. Okay. I'll just give you a brief rundown. Okay. So this is a belly band. And I basically just made the belly band so that it holds exactly this okay it fits right in the back of the album this is my marker that I'm going to take with the autograph book because it's red and it matches the paper perfectly and this is a stamp and write marker and it is real red and it's real red let me tell you okay <laughs> also I wanted to show you guys it actually just reminded me um, you guys should pick up if you're doing any projects like this a day at the park the stamps are amazing uh the photo play stamps are incredible and what you could do oh i do have the open pack so here we go so what you can do is you can let's back this well i'll just show this to you Oops, look at that um basically you can put stamps on every page right on the corner of the page magic moments if you're gonna have any photos so this is the album so this is a spot in the album all of this is using the photo play paper i gotta tell you this this paper is awesome i know people in different provinces or states have different dry humid climates okay but what i'm going to tell you is i'm in canada right now it's pretty humid because we have rain and freezing rain but normally in the winter it's minus 40 up here or whatever and it's pretty dry but I actually made these pockets using the color play paper so I did not um, I didn't need to use cardstock and then mat the cardstock I literally used just the paper okay and I believe it's be I don't know why I believe it's just because of the color play the way the printing process works and it just I think it just helps the paper um, again I'm not telling you to go and trash your paper do a test if you're gonna make anything or score any of these papers test it first and just score it very gently do it a couple times like break down the paper don't just crack into there and because you'll rip it right it's just like any other paper so do a test first before you do that okay because i'm just saying so this was the album that i made and i made look more bows <laughs> and i made this tassel too and it just reminded me of disney it's got a little globe on there little sparklies right there's a place for a photo inside of here okay this is from the sticker collection and i just this is all raised up okay I cut the paper out and just did some more um, banner things and I backed them with cardstock. Okay. And on the inside, I haven't finished this yet because I have another thing that's going into here, but I haven't quite figured out exactly what I'm going to do. So basically, this is all on this is going to be for the pins. People collect pins. Like crazy crazy like a lot of pins okay so everything in this album has a purpose the uh, bunny I don't have a tutorial yet but I'm gonna post it on YouTube okay um, I was gonna do it on the photo play page but it's so long right and this way I can edit it down and I'm gonna put the measurements on for you guys on YouTube okay so it's, it'll just be easier or I'll do like a link to a PDF where you guys can just print it out okay because there's there's a lot of measurements and stuff right um, these are gonna be really easy to do um, look for the tutorial next week okay on my YouTube it, it could be up sooner if you want to go subscribe it's I don't even know what my YouTube is I believe it's Bear Tree Treasures that's my YouTube so go to YouTube and look up Bear Tree Treasures 
that'll find it. <laughs> so you'll see it. And hit the subscribe button, and there's a little bell beside the subscribe button, which I just learned about recently. And if you click that, when a new video comes on, I guess it tells you. So this will be going up before next week. Okay, it's just I didn't want to put it on YouTube because I'm making this one for a friend of mine and I don't want her to see it before she leaves next week for Disney. Okay, so that's why <laughs> she's not on this page. I know she is not. I made sure. Anyway, so this is the album. She's going to put pins. She collects pins. Okay, and what I've done is I've made it so it's like a, a passport folio almost. Okay, so it has elastics. So you can take each piece out if you want to. And again, all these pockets here were made directly with the papers. Okay, and they didn't crack on me. Again, I'm not guaranteeing. All right, and this is the ticket from the sticker sheet. This as well is from the sticker sheet, I believe. Or no, oh, this I think is from a, I cut that out like a crazy person. So that's from the cut apart sheet. Oh boy, and I fussy cut around that. And this is from the sticker sheet, this from the sticker sheet. These I made with a stamp. I'm going to tell you the stamp because this is the best stamp ever, okay? And it is the What's Cooking by Photoplay stamp. And I just made them skinny enough so that they fit. And I used my stamp and write marker on the stamp only in this section here. And bam! So that's how I made all these. But that will all be in the tutorial, Okay. And just little pockets. I did a little tag. I did a little this from the sticker sheet. Okay. And I just backed it again with the lines. And I wasn't looking for perfection. And then on this one, there's a pocket. And then you can put all the other cut aparts, which are the four by six cut aparts. You can back them with your photo and stick them right in this pocket. Okay. This here is a waterfall. Okay. And I've done this throughout using the what's cooking um stamps where did i put them right here yes it's what's cooking photopolymer stamps isn't that cute and you can use it for recipe cards because that's what it's for just saying okay and these fit four by three let's measure just to make sure hold on let's grab a ruler three by four so you can put a three by four photo, okay? Because my friend, she has one of those sprockets and I know it cuts out three by fours and four by sixes. So she can just print directly from that and then she can stick them in here, okay? And I left some room because I'm gonna give her the leftover sticker sheet so that she can stick stickers on there because there's specific, like if she went to eat something and she went to the food cart thing, she can put this sticker I'll just show you i'm not gonna stick it down because i'm gonna let her do that when she's done so you can put that there right so i didn't put journaling spots on every single picture just because of that okay so that's that and then you flip it open and then that goes in the back okay so look for this tutorial again you can go to my youtube Okay, and just hit the um, subscribe. I will try to post a link. I'll try to remember to post a link. I can absolutely post a link. Um, oh, and there's acetate behind this too. And I may as well show you guys. Okay, let's just, I want to find, make sure you had no more questions before I show you. Okay. Hi, Ginger. Oh, my son is watching. How are you watching, Nicholas? He's waiting for me to get done. So this is the telephone booth I made. And here's the thing. So this album, Vacation Calling, okay? The album snaps onto the back of this, okay? And then it fits into here via magnets. So I'm going to just show you this. I'm going to flip this up like this. And the magnets hold it in, and the album is in the phone booth. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit that mic. Huh? What do you think of that? That's my custom telephone booth. You guys like that? Okay, so that's it. That's the project. 
thanks guys for watching okay and again i'll post links um once i get the album up and you guys can come back to the photo play page and you can find the album you are welcome photo play paper hi ginger okay guys i'm glad you liked it and it's pretty simple and you can crank out a few of these if there's a whole family of these going don't forget stand in line and get those disney characters i heard the lineup's crazy i personally i'm gonna get somebody else to stand in line for me just saying <laughs> um and this is my thing i made the book you guys gotta stand in the line for me and they'll be like okay monica no problem so thanks for watching guys okay and i probably be back in two weeks from tonight okay Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful night. Drive safe if you're in Canada. Stay warm if you're in Western Canada because it's scary out there. And in the United States, everybody, keep the peace. Peace be with you. Peace out. And be happy. Okay? Okay, guys. Bye.